Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of CR's Mailbox. Uh, got a few things here, so uh, let's just dig in. Okay, first up we got a letter from... Name and address withheld. Oh, nice. Um, feels like it's got like maybe something hard in here, maybe like a trading card or something. Uh, that's it, very much appreciated, but let's take a... Let's open this up. Oh! Oh, awesome! It's a, uh... It's a Blizzard uh, gift card. Um, I guess I guess I can use this for Hearthstone and stuff. That's cool. Oh man, thank you so much. Uh, let's see who sent it to me. Dear CR, I recently saw your first mail video and wanted to contribute a little something for all your work on your FF and CD videos. I've been an avid fan of yours for some time now, ever since you began uploading on thatguywiththeglasses.com. Uh, channel awesome as it's known now uh, I believe the first video of yours I ever watched was the mallow familiar faces one what with being an avid gamer myself I also rewatch your cheap damage videos every now and then anyway just wanted to send you a little something seeing as how you've provided us with so much hilarious content uh, thank you I, I, I would just go as far as to say content but uh, the fact that you think it's hilarious is great. Uh, being a Hearthstone player as well, I went and got a Battle.net gift card you can use for $20 on whatever you like in Hearthstone. Packs, adventures, etc. Your choice. Just thought I'd keep it simple. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you know what? I got... Oh, let me, let me finish this. Well, hope you get some cards. Well, hope you get some cards with it legendaries, I hope, that you can use. Good luck with your future endeavors and let me know if you want to duel sometime. You will always have at least one view on your cheap damage videos as long as you do your best. Just know that you have plenty of people that smile whenever your videos pop up in their subscription feeds. Sincerely, uh, Brandon and Yom... I think this is his username or something. Yom Yom Yomarson Yom Yomarson. Hmm. I'm gonna have to decipher that a little bit. I gotta look that up. I got. He, he didn't put a DeviantArt or a, a Twitter or anything. Damn it. Okay. Well. Anyway, he'll he'll see this video hopefully. Um. Thank you so much. And you know, um, aside from the gift card, what really really touches my heart is. The fact that you said you love my cheap damage videos. Um, they really are a, a kind of... Uh, I'm getting a little heavy right now, but they kind of are a, a labor of love for me. Um, because for some reason, uh, they don't get as many views as the Familiar Faces videos. And uh, I've always wondered why. Because, you know, I've, I've, I've posted them in the same place... In fact, I've gotten some people that say, oh, I didn't know you were doing Cheap Damage 2. I thought that was a different series by someone else. And I was like, no, it's the, it's the same one. It's just, uh, for some reason, just people don't seem to... It hasn't quite caught, caught on as, as much as Familiar Faces. Um, but I, the people that do watch it are some of my the most hardcore fans of that stuff because they're always asking, when's the next uh, Cheap Damage? When's the next Cheap Damage? And I, I've got a lot of other material, and that's what gets me excited for when I do a, do a cheap damage. Um, unlike Familiar Faces, and even then, a lot of time goes into Familiar Faces because I always do drawings and little animations and stuff. But with cheap damage, I kind of have to work with from the ground up. I have to do different things. I have to photograph. I, I either photograph the cards... Or I, or even I scan them in on the computer and then I animate them. That's what I did with The Simpsons. I've done so much experimenting with Cheap Damage. It's actually it is my my favorite series because it's kind of my own. I mean, a lot of people have taken just raw video footage of a movie or a cartoon series and you know um, cobbled together uh, a review with jokes and everything. Uh, uh, but cheap damage, I think I can actually play with things. I, I, I different styles, different uh, techniques of of filmmaking. 
because it really is filmmaking. I gotta, I gotta learn how, where the camera is in perspective, and I, I, you know, have to control the lighting and everything. It's, it's just really. I get, I get a real kick out of it, and I get a real kick out of when people say that, oh man, I love Cheap Damage, when are you going to do another one? Unfortunately, I've done a Cheap Damage video, and then as soon as I pop up another Familiar Faces, someone's always said, oh, well, you're back. It's like, no, no, I, I did. I did two videos in a row. You didn't see them. He's like, oh, which one's that? And I said, I did two Familiar Faces. I did two Cheap Damages. He's like, oh, well, I didn't know you did that. Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. But again, thank you, Ren, and I, I, I love this. This is perfect. This is great. Um, thank you so much, and I will continue to do my best with cheap damage. I think that there's... Well, I got tons of material. I got... I, I see it, and I find it, and I, I find, like... Um, I find it in thrift stores. Like, I, I bought this box of, uh, uh, Techno Hiroshima or something or other. Something that I found, and I got it for, like, three dollars, and it was, like, brand new. Something's going on out here, because I find a, tons of, uh, I found a brand new Munchkin in its original box, completely sealed up. And wait, the, the plastic was broken off on the outside, but all the cards were, were still vacuum sealed. So... I don't know what the deal was that was. It's weird. I, I find it and I find it all and I've collected more than enough to do tons of reviews. You've all seen the uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas video where I actually decided to try and sing, but uh, but anyway, yeah, I've got tons of materials and I will keep on moving forward with that with that. Thank you so much. Okay, now I got a big package here and uh, let's see. Um, Nick from Connecticut. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is the way you sent it to me, but that's the way it kind of got it. But let's, uh, let me open it up. Let me switch camera views so we can see. This possibly be. Okay, let's see. And again, I'm gonna have to blacken or, you know, do something with that. Ooh. I've got a little, got a little note here. It's wrapped up, so I guess that's going to be the big reveal. Let's see. Uh, hey, CR Nick from Arcade Hunters. I saw this in Toys R Us years ago and picked it up. Didn't know when to send it to you, but with Halloween on the way, and you've gotten a P P O and you've got a P O box. Why not? Take care and keep up the good work. Wow. Nick from Arcade Hunters. Okay, that's their business card. I need a better shot of that. I'm going to put a better shot of this. Okay, Arcade Reviews, Walkthroughs, Game Reviews. You know, I, I always thought about getting some really nice business cards. Uh, and back when I was... Uh, oh, hey, check it out. That's their website. I'm going to scan this both and put it on the, the thing. Um, I always thought about getting really nice... But, oh, I want to save this. I want to save this. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's Janine Melnick Samhain. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to stop, but I just really wanted to make sure that the uh, the lighting was really nice and notice, noticed it was kind of orange. Oh, man, this is cool. Oh, let's see. The package becomes the firehouse. Oh, okay. Ooh. For the adult collector, yeah, I'll say. Uh, let's see. What do I do? Do I open it? Oh, that's cool. I love the packaging. The uh, They got all the guys here. Let's see. The artwork's nice. It kind of reminds... It's, it's retro. But it's... I mean, I could tell... it. Yeah. I was going to say, I could tell this Janine was drawn in the last maybe five years or so. But, but yeah, it looks great. Oh, man, this is cool. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not usually one for action figures and stuff, but this is awesome. Let's 
see, nice and gently, I can always put it back in the thing. Oh, come on, don't, don't. No, come on. What, what's... Okay, oof. Wow, oh, cool. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. This thing does become the firehouse. It just unfolds. Okay. Oh, it's so sick. It's so sick. I love it. It's got little opening doors. What is it? What do you, what do you see inside? Oh. Oh, this has definitely ruined the collector's value, but I don't care. It's Ecto-1. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love that, I love that part in the, the cartoon where they just, they just burst through the door like boom. Yeah, there we go. It's got little little little. Oh, they move. Okay, so you can like. Let's see what he's got at the bottom. Yeah, he's got that little he's got that little hole at the bottom. Oh, I love it. these old action figures. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at Sanhain. His head was a little twisted. In the box, let's see how he looks. Oh, that's sick. Wow, he is loose. He is, oh, look at him. He's got like Mega Man boots. Oh, he's got amazing calves. Oh, this guy's like a He-Man action figure. Let's see. But yeah, he's, he's posable. Oh, he's, he's, his wrists are posable. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't know how I get you to stand up, though. Can you stand up on your own, attrition? Attrition. Wait. <gasps> he does! He totally stands up on his own! I'm gonna show you. I don't care if you see my dirty, dingy room. That's sick. Look at that. Look at that badass. Look at the light behind him. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, time to get Janine out of here. Uh-oh, she's stuck. She's stuck somehow. Oh, it's her backpack. Oh, it's uh, some sort of plastic. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In order to get this out, I gotta just gently... What now? Her little wrist? She's got one for her teeny tiny wrist? Come on, get off. Come on, get off. Ew. Oh, it's just like that scene from the movie where Peter's trying to get the gook off him. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's got the pointy glasses. The glasses that are supposed to terrify me as a kid. Oh, look at those. Look at those glasses. They're so horrifying. Oh, and that is, that's just a bouffant. That's what that is. That is impossible hair. I love it. She doesn't really grab it, does she? Yeah, she's got it. Oh, she had it. Okay, let's try the other hand. Her, yeah, her wrists move as well. Okay. Maybe if I just, maybe if I just do that a little bit. Can she do it? No, she can't. Why? I mean, he looks like he can hold on to it. Look at him. He's got that kind of, yeah, watch. Yeah, he can hold on to it, no problem. And here's the ghost trap. I mean, uh. I guess. Yay, she did it. I think this is supposed to be like, let's say now, uh, fold it like that. Open fold, flaps. What? Oh man, look at him. Oh yeah, I finally, I had to uh, squeeze her hands a little bit, kind of make sure that she could grab onto her stuff and even then it's kind of a tenuous little Gentle little dainty grip she's got. Uh, this guy's cool. I don't know how he stands. His his waist, the ball sockets to his legs are so loose. I don't know how he does it. And of course, there's a little Slimer up there. I put him up there. Uh, yeah, this is so awesome. Also, one thing interesting. They've given uh, her the sort of uh, the real Ghostbusters, the animated version of what Peter used in the first movie, the, the little squeezy thing, his, his little bullshit rod, basically, because he w I'm almost certain he wasn't sure what he was doing. Ah, this is so sweet. Thank you so much, Nick. 
Oh, so cool! And, uh, yeah, I guess if you want to send me some cool stuff, you can send it to this P.O. box here. And, you know, only if you feel like it. Not, not digging for anything, but, oh man, this is so cool. So awesome. The very first familiar faces, that's her. And her glasses are, I don't think she ever had blue glasses, or maybe she did. Oh God, oh God, I'm a fraud. <laughs>